tell you what. I'll tell you what. There's this dude. He a hitman. Let's kill his dog and let's see what the fuck happens. I see him coming. I see him go. Still I remain one of the illest to ever step up in this game. But now I see that some of y'all want a piece of me. So it's time for me to step up from behind the scenes. You can't test my work great. It's time to make weight. Imitate a space. Step aside. It's time for payday. What's going on people, it's your boy Brass Tax in this bitch, you already know, you already know. New subscribers, welcome, you done fucked up around here. Existing subscribers, I love you guys, you already know that. This review is going to be broken up into three parts. Part one, I'm going to talk a little bit about the movie, spoiler free. Where I will just give you my, my thoughts on the movie, what I thought about that bitch, whether I recommend it and whether I don't. Part two, I'm going to go balls deep. But when I mean balls deep, I mean crazy balls deep. Might have a baby with that shit. You can't pull out. No rubber. You can't pull out because you're so balls deep in. Do you know what I'm saying? You're balls deep in to the point that you can't pull out. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it just can't happen. You're too far in that bitch. And when I mean balls deep, I mean I'm going to give you the most in-depth transfer you've ever seen in this bitch. Part three, I'm going to give you my final thoughts. Let's get on with it. Keanu Reeves, I don't rate him as an actor. I'm going to keep it real with you, I don't rate him as an actor. I don't think he's an amazing actor, but I think there are a few roles which he does play really well. This and Neo being two of those bitches. John Wick pretty much is a, a retired hitman. He's just chilling, living the life with his dog. Having a great time. A bunch of bad guys decided they don't even like John Wick. They're like, listen, he pissed me off. I'm going to get him back for this bitch. And what do they do? One of the three things you don't do. You don't fuck with another guy's wife. You don't fuck with another guy's family. You don't fuck with another guy's kids. Number four, shit. You do not fuck with a guy's dog. God damn, they fucked up. They killed the dog. Now John Wick alive in this bitch and he is unhappy, so he's going back to his old ways. John Wick is going back to the old John Wick to exact revenge in this bitch. What ensues is quite possibly one of the best action sequences shot in a nightclub ever. It's a kick-ass movie from start to finish. You know what I love about this movie? The fact that the bad guys done knew they fuck up. You know when the son told his dad, yeah, I fucked up John Wick and shit. The dad just fucks him up saying, you did what? You know who this dude is? The dude is killing this bitch. You fucked up. So it's a very, very satisfying action flick. I can't wait for the second one. This one is an A1 movie. Chances are most of you guys got it already and you don't even care about the movie review of this bitch because you already know it's a great movie. On with the transfer. I believe shot in 2.8k. Visual effects 2k. Digital intermediate 4k. Dolby Atmos sound. Let's talk about the detail first. It's modest. It's an uptick in visual quality. You are going to notice things, especially on close-ups. The close-ups of John Wick's hair in this bitch, the nose hairs in his nostrils and shit. God damn. Shit is detailed up close. You see the reflections on the cars and shit. Like when he's driving in his Mustang and his other various sports car, you see the reflections. There is an appreciable added detail in parts. Now let's talk about the, where this movie really, really shines. And that is the HDR. The HDR implementation on this movie is second to none, people. Second to none. Especially in the nightclub with the neon lights and shit where he's fucking people up left, right and center. That shit looks amazing. That shit looks A1. That shit looks like something you could show off. The color is very good. The color is also mixed in parts because some scenes shot in the movie are very muted in certain scenes, especially at the beginning. But when it picks up, boy, does it pick up. The HDR A1 in this bitch. It still remains natural, but it's vibrant where it needs to be. Like I said, in the nightclub scenes, the neon lighting and everything really just pops out of the screen. The HDR is really flexing its muscles on certain scenes. Now, because the HDR and the added resolution is giving you that detail, most of the movie is shot at night, which is a plus, because at nighttime, in the dark, you're going to notice a lot more detail than you would have done on the 1080p for sure because the black levels are very good on this one. Very detailed, very distinct. You can very easily tell one thing from another in dark environments. So that's a plus for this movie because that's really where the transfer really needs to work hard on this beach. That coupled with everything else, the depth is A1. The depth is a very nice three-dimensional pop in this movie. You do notice layers upon layers. You'll appreciate the subtleties of this movie for sure because they are there. They are, they do vary from very slight subtleties 
to a more noticeable improvement in certain scenes. But the real winner of this is, is the HDR. It's the best version of the disc you're going to get, and it's like 16 bucks. What are you waiting for? Now, I feel two ways about this movie. I could give it the brass tack seal of approval, but it's not a wow transfer, okay? So it's not going to get that. But for 16 bucks, it's a no-brainer. You've got to pick this bad boy up. It's a decent transfer, great in some parts, uh, the movie itself is A1. If you've got this movie in your collection, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't pick it up again. It's not even priced at full price. It's 16 bucks! That's your easy, that's the easy decision in this bitch. And the second one's coming out, and I can't wait for that. I highly recommend this movie for any of you guys who haven't seen this. I don't know what is wrong with you. You need to go check this out. You need to watch this bitch. It is an A1 movie and it's a good transfer. If this video was informative and it helped you, definitely hit the like button and definitely subscribe. Your boy out in this bitch. I see him coming, I see him go, still I remain. One of the illest to ever step up in this game. But now I see that some of y'all want a piece of me. So it's time for me to step up from behind the scenes. You can't test my work great, it's time to make way if